So today I'm super excited to share with you my top 10 beauty hacks, tips, tricks, secrets. There may be a few that you know, but I'm pretty confident that there will be at least a few that you've never heard of before. First of all, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please go ahead and do that. It would make me eternally happy and grateful. Anyway, should we get on with the video? Yeah, I think we should. You may have seen, you may have seen, you probably have because it's on 300,000 views. You may have seen my eyelash trick video. If you haven't, then I will link it down below, but that is like an awesome beauty hack. But I didn't want to include it in this video as well because I don't want to like repeat myself too much. My first hack, look at my professional notes here. This is what I was brainstorming ideas on. Apparently you can't say brainstorm now, that's offensive. What do they call it now? What's the PC term? Brain doodling, I don't know. My first tip is that you can use coconut oil as makeup remover and coconut oil is actually a much more effective way of removing your makeup. Oil removes makeup very, very well. That's why a lot of makeup removers have oil in them, especially eye makeup removers, because you need that oil to break down all the particles of the makeup so that it slides off your face. I don't use it as an all over makeup remover because it's a bit oily and greasy and I don't like that feeling on my skin, but I will use it for stubborn makeup such as waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner, liquid lipstick. The next hack is to use sellotape to clean your brushes. If you wash your brushes normally, they're wet and you have to let them dry overnight before you use them, otherwise you've got wet brushes and nobody wants to use wet brushes, especially not on like your eyes. Say you only have one eye makeup brush available and you just use a brown eyeshadow and now you want to go back to a lighter colour and you're like, damn, like, this is going to be an awful mucky colour. So what you can do if you have sellotape present, wrap sellotape around your hand and then you can just go back and forth with the brush and it will literally suck out all the product that's on there. Uh, the next tip, you can make any lipstick matte by using a face powder. I've done a full video on this, I will link that down below. You basically put on your lipstick, put on the powder and it will turn that lipstick matte. Any lipstick. A lot of people I talk to think that you need to buy makeup cleanser or makeup cleaner or you know like some some liquid thing that helps you wash your brushes they're expensive they're overpriced for what they are you can literally use any shampoo so what i do is put a bit of shampoo on the back of my hand get the brush wet and then kind of swirl it around in the shampoo and then when you rinse it under the tap again literally all the grossness will come seeping out and it's really satisfying Next tip is that if you are running super low on foundation, mix moisturiser with powder and concealer. If you don't have concealer, you can just mix it with powder, but mix it with the coloured powder. Don't mix it with translucent powder, otherwise it won't have any colour to it. So you need to mix it with a powder that is actually the colour of your face. My next tip, you can use mascara as eyeliner. I don't really ever wear winged eyeliner, so personally I don't really use this one. You take a bit of mascara out of the pot and put it on the back of your hand and then just use like an eyeliner brush to go in and do wing liner. It works exactly the same. Next one, and probably my favourite one, probably one that I am the biggest advocate of is using talc as dry shampoo. I feel so sorry for you if you didn't know this. My mum actually told me that in the olden days, she's gonna love me for saying that, when she was young, <laughs> they would use talcum powder to do the same purpose, basically talcum powder. If you put it in your roots, absorbs all the grease and oils and it also thickens your hair. You can buy a massive tub of talcum powder for literally about two pounds and it's a massive one. It would last you five years. Next, so if you want to kill your hair and you don't have that much time, like literally you have five minutes to kill your whole head, which has happened to me quite a lot. I will straighten my hair and then decide that I don't like it anymore because I literally can't make a decision on anything in my life. And then Elliot's like, come on Hannah, we've got three minutes, we need to go. I'm getting in the car now, like move it, get your jacket, let's go. Put all your hair up in a super high ponytail, I'm talking high ponytails, like on the top of your head. Take it section by section and kill those sections. You kill like the five bits of hair around, take it out, shake it out and you will have curls. I did not know about this until I would say I've been doing this for about five months. It has changed my life. Shaving your legs or your bits and bobs, your armpits, wherever, your belly button, wherever you want to shave. I don't judge. I used to either use shaving cream, 
expensive, number one, two runs out and you always forget to go and buy more. If I didn't have shaving cream, I would use uh, soap or body wash. If worse came to worse, I would use shampoo. Something soapy to shave my legs. I thought that's what you do, like that's, isn't that what you're supposed to do? You don't do that. Instead of using shampoo, you use conditioner. You put the conditioner on, first of all, it makes your leg hairs so much smoother so that they come off easier and when you've shaved all your legs your legs are like so much softer honestly i've never gone back okie dokie so that is it for my top 10 current beauty hacks if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'm gonna try and up my video uploads to two a week because i want to do halloween tutorials if you don't know every year i do halloween tutorials I will link those down below as well but I want to know what Halloween looks do you want to see do you want to see super gory do you want to see special effects makeup do you want to see pretty makeup what do you want to see last minute makeups DIY outfits let me know what you want to see and I will try my best to do that so yeah see you next time bye fake out I bet half of you didn't even notice that that was only nine and not ten so my tenth is to check the use by date on the back of your makeup products it's very unsanitary to use makeup past their sell by date so check the little container with the m that is how many months that the product should last for